The best predictors of COPD exacerbation is having a history of exacerbation. Uh, so if you, there are several studies that have tried to identify uh, the so-called frequent exacerbator phenotype in COPD. And, and, and almost invariably in all the studies, the best predictor is to ask the patients have they had exacerbations in the past. So, uh, and that comes up with the strongest odds ratios or probabilities of, of having future exacerbations. People have thought that there's a subtype or phenotype of COPD that they call the frequent exacerbator. In trying to define these individuals, we found that these individuals tend to have symptoms of cough and phlegm, that they tend to have gastroesophageal reflux disease, and on their CT examination, they tend to have more airway wall thickening and emphysema. There are other, some other clinical predictors. Um, some, for example, the worsening lung function. So the lower the FEV1, uh, the more likely they're going to ex have exacerbations. But that's something that you really can't alter, and the, the relationship is relatively weak. Uh, another predictor that's been coming up in recent studies is the presence of gastroesophageal reflux. So that's come up in a couple of studies. And again, we don't know whether it's an uh, association or there's a cause-effect relationship. And there are still no studies clearly showing that treating the gastroesophageal reflux will change the frequency of exacerbation. But I do tend to ask my patients about reflux and deal with it. And that could be another predictor which is clinically useful. The important thing for people to realize, though, is that even though COPD exacerbations are more common in people with impaired lung function, that patients with COPD can have exacerbations at any time regardless of how severe their lung function abnormality is. What we need actually are uh, another are more of biological predictors or biomarkers that could help us identify patients who will tend to exacerbate. Systemic inflammation, uh, especially if you measure it in, with more than one parameter. So in one particular study, when they combined white cell counts, neutrophils, and CRP, and if all of them were above a certain threshold, those patients were more likely to exacerbate in the future. Uh, other biomarkers, for example, in our work, we have shown that macrophage function. So macrophages protect these people against recurrent infections. And if, they, if the macrophage function is impaired, then that also tends to predict future exacerbations. So yes, we know some predictors, but nothing like just asking the patient, how often have you had exacerbations in the past?